Hello, grade nines. That's right. I'm speaking to you. Who are you? Okay. Hopefully you know who you are. And this next section we're doing, as you can quite clearly see, is patterns, functions, and graphs. Now let's start off easy. What do you think the first thing we're going to do out of those three is going to be? Okay. Well, I'm hoping that you're sort of on track. You know who you are, and you know that we're going to start with patterns, seeing as it says patterns first. But they're all linked together, hence they're part of the same section. Okay, so let's run through just six patterns to get ourselves into this section. I know that yesterday you wrote that test. Well done, everyone. Handing in, you'll get some good feedback soon enough. Okay, so let's look at a pattern and say, we've got this pattern given to you. 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. Now, how would you describe that pattern? Okay, well, you might have described it that way, and I'm interested to read through what you said. Now, I'd describe it by saying we start at 5 and we're adding 2 each time. Notice that I say where we're starting, I don't just say we're adding 2 each time because I don't know where we're starting. So, if that's the case, then what are the next three terms in our pattern? Okay, cool. Well, maybe we've got an idea that if we're adding 2 each time, well, then it's just going to go 15. 17, 19, and keep going along. Okay, so there's our first pattern. Nicely done. Let's head to another pattern. Let's say I give you this pattern. 36, 32, 28, 24, 20. How would you describe this pattern? Okay, so this time we've said it starts at 36, and we're subtracting four each time. Or you might even have said that we're adding negative 4. That perfectly describes it. So let's continue that pattern and say, well, if we're subtracting 4 each time or we're adding negative 4, the next three terms would be... Okay, so I'd say that we're going to just keep going down. So 16, 12, 8, and so it would go. And eventually, I guess, we'd get to some negative numbers. But I said we're keeping it simple today. Okay, so next pattern. I'm going to give you, let's say that we've got 2, 6, 18, 54, 162. Now, how would you describe this pattern? Oh, I'd probably describe it in a similar way. Well, hopefully we'll describe it in similar ways. Starting at 2, and we're multiplying by 3 each time. Now, how would, what would the next 3, and you can see, I think I'm going to leave my calculator for this one. What are the next three terms of this pattern going to be? Yeah, I also, as I said, needed my calculator for this one. And we're going, well, we're multiplying it by 3, so I'm just going to go 162 times 3 equals, wow, these numbers are getting big already, 486. And I'm just going to go times 3 times 3, 1,458. And times 3 again, 4,374, and so it goes. Okay, that's enough patterns like that for now. But the point is that these patterns could be adding the same thing, subtracting, multiplying. They could involve square numbers. Let's move on to some of the patterns. So let's say I'm going to start my numbering again and go, let's start at A this time. Okay, so the next pattern... And we're going to do something a bit different here. We're still going to describe it. We're going to write the next one term. That's it. And then I want you to write the tenth term. Okay, so first pattern that you're given. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, how do you describe this pattern? Okay, so it's something to do with adding 5 each time. Starting at 5, add 5 each time. Cool, so... My next term in this pattern would be, well, definitely another 5 would give us 30. So, therefore, what would the 10th term, and before we go, let's just get a little bit of terminology. What is T10? In other words, what's the 10th term? That's what we're trying to find. So, what is it? Okay, yeah, I've also just gone, well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So our 10th term must be 50, so I'm going to go cool. It's 50. Now, think in the background if you could have had a quicker way of doing that. So that if I said what's the 100th term, 
you didn't start moving onto your toes and then counting along to keep going. But for now, we're just easing our way. Okay, second pattern. What happens if we've got minus 7, minus 3, uh, positive 1, 5, 9? How would you describe that pattern? Okay, I'd probably describe it in a similar way. I know that we looks like we're adding for each time. So therefore, what would the next term in our pattern be if we went minus 7, minus 3, 1, 5, 9? Our next term would be, yeah, well, what is 9 plus another 4 would give us 13. So the next question remains the same. What would our 10th term be? Okay, so I'm sure that here we're going, well, sure, do you see this rule? Let's just keep doing the same trick we did last time. So we're going to minus 7, minus 3, 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29, as I think what I get, 29. Now, again, it would be nice if we had a rule, and we're just going to park that to go. We're plussing for each time, so maybe there's something to do with the 4. But let's do that tomorrow and link it through to functions. It's going to be much easier to do that once we have a good knowledge of functions. Okay, so our last pattern for the day now I'm going to give you is 4, negative 12, 36, negative 108. But check here, how would you describe our last pattern for today? Okay. For this one, we're definitely not adding the same, and these negatives make it look a bit more difficult than it is. If we look at multiply, because that's what we looked at in one of our previous patterns, what do we multiply to get from 4 to negative 12? Well, we multiply by negative 3. Does that work for this one? Yes, it does. So we can just keep multiplying by negative 3. Therefore, what is the next term in our pattern? Okay, I need a calculator here too. So negative 108 times negative 3 gives me, if I could use my calculator that would help, not plus, times 324. Okay, so the last, second last question of the day. What is the tenth term in our pattern? And again, back of our minds, is there a quick easier way to do this so that we don't go through in our fingers but let's just go through on our fingers if we want to so second last question what's the tenth term in our pattern okay so yeah looking forward to when we meet in our google meet if how you might have done this differently but let's just stick with our fingers go well four negative twelve so i'm going to go four equals and i'm going to just do a little calculator trick here I'll go four equals I'm going to go times, times negative 3. So I've gone on times negative 3. And that means that I'm going to go, okay, that's term 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Negative, wow, this is a nice big number, 7, 8, 7, 3, 2. Okay. So that was just by going 4 equals, so I had the first term, and then went times minus 3, and then it was in the answer, so I could just go equals, equals, equals. doesn't really matter. More interested that you can describe and see the pattern. So last question of the day. Are you ready for this section? Are you feeling good, feeling confident we're going to do this? Of course you are. I can imagine everyone was just going, yes, definitely, sir, definitely. No eyeball rolling at all. Cool. Let's enjoy our next section.